Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be conquering my first ever 1k plus peak. I'm already on the road today, 7am in the morning. And it's time to finally reach 1k plus. We're off to Chernita. 1,100 meters is its exact uh, peak. And there's also a viewing tower. And that is where we're off today. Let's go. Okay, so it is quite cold, got some snow here. But other than that, I've got a very sick view here. Just showing it. In Polvok 7, we did go up to there and we went on that way. Today we're going a different way to an even taller peak, obviously. And now I need to put my Instagram story on. So <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. I've taken my coat off because it's genuinely quite like warm. It was one degrees when I began and really, really windy. It's still a bit windy, but it's okay. Um, I'm in some place where they're cutting down trees. <laughs> um, there was also um, like this sign which said like you can't come in because they're cutting trees down. And there were literally people cutting trees down, but they didn't say anything. So um, I guess maybe it was okay, I don't know. I believe it is this mountain we are heading up. That is a heck tall one. All right, let's carry on because there's still a very, very long way to go over eight kilometers, nine in fact. Over here, as you can see, this hill, this mountain here is Sneznik. It's the tallest, well, second tallest peak in all of the Sudets. And yeah, it's internally hard. There's still loads and loads of snow on it. And like I said, it's the second tallest in the whole Sudet mountain range. Range, And I'm off to the ninth tallest, or eighth. I'm not now 100% sure. And yeah, I'm going to go there, but definitely summertime because winter, it's very steep. And well, all the snow there, it's definitely slippy. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's actually so nice though. Really warm, sun shining and heading Oh, there was a car <laughs> heading oh look there's even a little hut here all right heading straight okay so i got onto a main road i am heading off it now got some weird sus bridge coming up though gonna check out the river and i believe we're heading up now this is the beginning of the actual mountain that we're going up today oh this is nice <laughs> there's literally frozen puddles on the bridge oh well this is nice all right let me just take some shots it's allowed body look at the views here real nice we were down at that village we've got six kilometers left two hours and we're already complete obviously gonna have to walk back but All right, on with the path. Genuinely, it's three degrees, but it is boiling hot, and I don't even get how. Got some nice views around. Six, less than six kilometers, less than one hour 50 to go. And the weather is so nice. Look at the trees though, really windy. Moving onwards. can see we've got uh, even in English here we've got Czech and Polish we are right now 825 meters above sea level and if you look that way we have still got a while to go up and that is not even the end so it's very windy up here got a bit of snow and we're carrying on on this main path let's go I've reached the point where it's really starting to get cold. 
and I'm starting to feel that there's literally less oxygen. I'm literally feeling it. I can just, when I take a deep breath, there's just not, I just can't take it in as much as I would when I normally be living somewhere. But there's loads of blueberry bushes over here on the ground. Obviously there's none right now because it's winter still. But <laughs> food for hikers when they're up here during winter in summer. <laughs> yeah, I've really slowed down obviously because I can't breathe in that much oxygen. But I've got less than an hour to go, three and a half kilometers. So it's the last stretch and I'll see you guys. Oh, let's carry on. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. There's loads of snow and I've got a really, really steep hill to go up. There's no way that in these conditions I'm getting up there. There's absolutely no way. So I'm going to have to call this, this uh, journey a day. I'm going to have to start heading back. Um, yeah, a little disappointing. But in these conditions, there's no way. So, yeah, I'll be back in about a month. I'll be back during the Easter holidays. Easter holidays. And I guess that's when we're going to have to conquer this peak. Mission failed. I am still well above 1,000 meters above sea level, so I'm really, really happy about that. But... There's no way I'm getting up that in these conditions with these shoes, even though they're normal hiking shoes. No way. So, dang it. But yeah, we're going to start heading back. There's no point risking things in these conditions. It's cold. Getting stuck up here will be the worst thing. So, going to head back. I'll see you guys later. I'm still going to be recording, obviously. Let's go. All right. It's once again windy, once again cold. I'm once again sick and tired of it. You know, it's ridiculous. Uh, I chose a bad day, even though it's warm today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go down to a closer town. I still got to walk for two hours, but from there I'm gonna take a bus home. Even, or not home just yet. I'm still going somewhere else. But I'm gonna take a bus, and I wasn't meant to take a bus. I was meant to go home with my mum. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take a bus. Um, Here's the path, I am still walking, moving on. <laughs>